Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikibits video about Heinrich Kurtz. Heinrich Rudolf Kurtz, February 22, 1857 to January 1, 1894, was a German physicist who first conclusively proved the existence of the electromagnetic waves theorized by James Clerk Maxwell's electromagnetic theory of light. Hertz was born in 1857 in Hamburg, then a sovereign state of the German Confederation, into a prosperous and cultured Hanseatic family. While studying at the Gellert and Schule des Johanniums in Hamburg, Hertz showed an aptitude for sciences as well as languages, learning Arabic and Sanskrit. Hertz obtained his PhD from the University of Berlin, and for the next three years remained for postdoctoral study. In 1883, Hertz took a post as a lecturer in theoretical physics at the University of Kiel. In 1885, Hertz became a full professor at the University of Karlsruhe, where he conducted his landmark research into electromagnetic waves. After Hertz received his professorship at Karlsruhe he was experimenting with a pair of Reese spirals in the autumn of 1886 when he noticed that discharging a Leyden jar into one of these coils would produce a spark in the other coil. With an idea on how to build an apparatus, Hertz now had a way to proceed with the Berlin Prize problem of 1879 on proving Maxwell's theory, although the actual prize had expired uncollected in 1882. He used a Rohnkirch coil-driven spark gap and one-meter wire pair as a radiator. Capacity spheres were present at the ends for circuit resonance adjustments. His receiver was a simple half-wave dipole antenna with a micrometer spark gap between the elements. This experiment produced and received what are now called radio waves in the very high frequency range. Between 1886 and 1889 Hertz would conduct a series of experiments that would prove the effects he was observing were results of Maxwell's predicted electromagnetic waves. Hertz helped establish the photoelectric effect which was later explained by Albert Einstein, when he noticed that a charged object loses its charge more readily when illuminated by ultraviolet radiation, UV. In 1887, he made observations of the photoelectric effect and of the production and reception of electromagnetic, M, waves, published in the journal Annal and Air Physic. Hertz's proof of the existence of airborne electromagnetic waves led to an explosion of experimentation with this new form of electromagnetic radiation which was called Hertzian waves until around 1910 when the term radio waves became current. Within 10 years researchers such as Oliver Lodge, Ferdinand Braun, and Guglielmo Marconi employed radio waves in the first wireless telegraphy radio communication systems, leading to radio broadcasting, and later television. Today radio is an essential technology in global telecommunication networks, and the transmission medium underlying modern wireless devices. Hertz took a position of Professor of Physics and Director of the Physics Institute in Bonn on April 3, 1889, a position he held until his death in January 1894. During this time he worked on theoretical mechanics, with his work being posthumously published in the book Die Principien der Mechanik in Neuem Zusammenhang Dargestellt, The Principles of Mechanics Presented in a New Form, in 1894. In 1892, Hertz was diagnosed with an infection after a bout of severe migraines, and underwent operations to treat the illness. He died in 1894 of granulomatosis with polyangitis at the early age of 36 in Bonn, Germany, and was buried in the Ohlsdorf Cemetery in Hamburg. The SI unit Hertz, HC, was established in his honor by the International Electrotechnical Commission in 1930 for frequency, an expression of the number of times that a repeated event occurs per second. Well my friends, I hope you have enjoyed this brief video about Heinrich Kurtz. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.